Hey, beautiful ones. Amanda here with Divine Femme. And I feel really drawn to bring in a dragon frequency today for us. Just there's a lot of potent energy <laughs> since we've been in potent energy uh, cosmically for four years. But really recently it has been, uh, it's been a lot. And the whole month of August was a whole lot. September is a whole lot. So I just wanted to pull a card and tune in. And I just love what came through. We've got the white dragon coming through. So the white dragon is all about like DNA upgrades and activation of our radiant, luminous, bodies, like our like magical selves to really come online in a more expansive way. So the words under here are amplification, light and DNA activation. So what I've embodied and had felt experience around in the last couple of years, not quite two years, is literal DNA activation. And I'm wondering if you have also had experiences of DNA activation in your life. This really came about after uh, several years of cleansing and clearing my energy body and my physical body of toxins and stuck energy and um, just a lot of like past stuff that wasn't part of my present or future selves. And just like all that cleansing and clearing, cleansing and clearing made space for magic to unlock in my DNA. And really high vibrational frequencies cannot reside in stuck, dense bodies. And so if we are self-destructive, if we, you know, eat garbage, drink a lot of alcohol, numb ourselves out with any sort of pharmaceuticals or lots of weed, we're going to dull and dampen our energy fields and our physical bodies. And it's going to be really difficult for us to feel good in our bodies. It's going to be really difficult for us to see and experience the magic that is everywhere. And so, you know, part of the reason that I come on to uh, YouTube and share my dragon, my golden dragon training, my yoga flow videos is to inspire you and give you permission to move your bodies in ways that feel nourishing and to take care of yourselves to like really fucking take care of yourselves and not, um, be a passive participant in this life. Like you're the medicine, your body holds the wisdom, right? And when we make space, when we come into these sadhana, these devotional practices, and we stay more devotional and consistent around these practices of taking care of ourselves, then we make all this space for DNA to be able to be unlocked, for this like dragon magic to um, assist us in arriving at our most majestic selves. You know, dragon energy and frequency is about liberation. They are fierce liberators. And I'm talking about benevolent dragons. I'm not talking about, you know, the way that the West has personified dragons. Think about uh, the movie that, or the book, The Hobbit with Smaug. He's like the Western patriarchal view of a dragon, right? It's like, oh, he's a hoarder. He's got to be destroyed, right? <laughs> and, you know, I think the West and I think patriarchy in general they snuffed out the magic everywhere. You know, they've done it to women. They've done it to people of color. They've done it to mystical beings like dragons, like anything that is like magical and amazing and mysterious. Like the patriarchy has done everything in their power to destroy it or change the narrative so that it becomes bad or evil. Right. And it's just not true. Uh, dragons are incredibly benevolent and magical and amazing. And they have so many gifts to offer and if we can open ourselves up to this new relationship with high vibrational frequencies, maybe personified as dragons and invite magic and wonder and activation within our beings so that our DNA can awaken to the wholeness of who we are, 
then we can really move through the world in a different way. We can ripple out our love and devotion and um, just like awe and uh, imagination outward so that people are inspired to do the same and be the same, you know, be awake in their aliveness and creativity. Um, but yeah, I think that the DNA activation is absolutely real. I have felt it in my body many times. It's, um, it reminds me that it's absolutely possible to be super powered in this life. You know, like you see these movies where you, there are these superheroes or these magical people that have all these superpowers and we sit on our couches and watch the movie and we're like, wow, that'd be cool. That's so cool that, you know, but that can never happen. It's just a movie. I think it's, I think it's information for us to remember that we are superhuman and we are super powered and we have the ability to unlock so much magic and wonder within us. If we just believe that we have the capacity to be incredibly super powered. So the white dragon is um, really coming through as a symbol that it is time. Like if you're curious or you are, um, you kind of know kind of in the, like there's a little twinkle sparkle in the back of your mind. That's like, man, I think I, I think that I could be magical. I, and I, I don't know, I'm a little scared and maybe I should try the thing that I want to try that is scary to me, but I keep wanting to do it. Like this is kind of your sign or symbol to, to go and do it and be brave and bold and radiate your power and magic to become um, activated in your true whole self. So a lot of amazing DNA activation energy coming in during the lunar, uh, lunar eclipse full moon in Pisces on September 17th. So this is, um, this is your invitation. This is your permission to, to do it, to, to make the space in your body and your mind and your physical surroundings so that you have room to receive these activations that are ready for you now. All right. Thank you so much. So this card is from the deck Divining with the Dragons by Araya on Raw. And I love it. And I highly recommend if you want to purchase, I'm not an affiliate um, and I'm not going to share a link. You can just figure it out. And I will be back with some more yoga soon. I hope you have a beautiful, expansive week and I'm sending you love.